Oh, day 50 and no red light. I had the best night's sleep. Oh, yesterday was just a truly amazing day all around, man. Oh, good stuff. I woke up at like 3 to go pee because I had a few beers and a margarita. And I needed to get rid of them. And I was like, okay, I'm up. But no, I went back to sleep. Oh, oh, oh. no red light video, no nothing. Oh, it's slightly after 6 a.m. Hmm. And, oh, 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 I had a bit of service last night. So, you know, um, I tried to upload some movies. And two of them went out while I was sleeping. Well, one went out, and then at three, I was like, hey, one went out. Awesome. So I was willing to run the risk the battery power for being able to upload because I'm running out of space. But I got two of them out last night, and I have no battery power left. I'm down to, like, you know, 23% or something like that, and I drained my big battery it's hanging behind me. I get better service if I keep it up there in my mind. Uh, but that means I've got more space. Uh, which makes less town the next town stop less stressful because at least I already have some videos out. Everything is slightly moist. Oh, that's gross because that's all me. It didn't rain. That's all me. Evidently, I, I was condensating last night. Oh, it was. I feel so good. Oh, it's nice to wake up like this. Oh, 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 oh. I'm eat, eating up my coffee, and then there's already people talking down there. It's 6 a.m., man. Somebody's awake, and, and it's not really me. Whew. Evidently, I needed that. Okay, let's go see what's going on out there. I think everything here, they even have a solar light pointing at the bathroom so I can find it at night. Not that I did because I slept in. Ooh, hikers are slowly trickling in and I'm finding it hard to leave. <laughs> Excuse me. I am filled, but I'm still hungry. I have never had trail magic like this in my life, man. It is, this is, this feels more magical than most of them. Oh, such an excellent day. This is cherry on the cake. Today's a new day. I don't expect it to be nearly as good as yesterday, but it's already starting off awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the literal trail. It runs right through camp. Oh, hard to leave. They're so hospitable. But it's about that time. Taking a couple for the road. We know I don't drink much. I'll have a great buzz. Later, guys. I'll see you at the trail. <laughs> and we're off. We are not in a hurry. We're just going to mosey our happy asses up the way. I got a pocket full of fruit. How often do I leave a place with beer and fruit? Oh, oh and there's this great lady named Lynn. She watches my stuff. Hey, Lynn. How you doing? Uh, and like I show up and she gave me 20 bucks. Like I got paid to enjoy the trail magic. Life is so good. It is the little things, man, that make it. But I really appreciate everything, man. Just, you know, just conversation, just chairs to sit in. Just any one of those things would have really made my day. But everything combined, minorly overwhelming. Just so much good stuff. I had to pinch myself a couple times. Am I dreaming? Okay, I was able to order the stuff to fix my tent. I'm curious how that's going to go. I don't know where I'm going to have it mailed to me at. Maybe uh, whatever the last town is in this state. I can't remember. There's Cuba. and no, I don't remember the last state or last city. But that's probably where it'll happen. Take a day or two off, upload some movies, fix my tent, and then be a happy camper, carry on. Uh, let's get a buzz. Mm. I had to stop next to some cool rock sculptures to load my pockets up properly, but I love it about these little snackle bags. Oh, that thing holds everything. I don't know if I showed it because I can't see what I was looking at. But it's got I got beer in there. I got fruits. I got chips. I got candy. I got protein bars. Yeah, all in one pocket. It's nice. 
to have a pocket for everything. Love the guilt. Oh, I haven't looked at the map. I don't know where water is or any of that stuff, but I'm loaded up on water. I got two brews. Oh, uh, you know, what more do I need? Definitely not gonna starve to death on the way there, even if I don't eat. I, I ate a few pounds of food back there. Hiker hunger is definitely getting involved in the process. It's not there yet because I didn't, you know, make a pig of myself. But I ate a lot more than most people do. <laughs> and, you know, my belly doesn't distend at all. You can't tell that I've eaten three or four plates of something because I just don't look better. I don't know where it goes, man. I turn it into miles and smiles. That's what I do. And poop. That happens too. <laughs> ah, it's just such a good mood, man. I'm going to be carrying this light in my heart for a while. Thanks again, Woody. Ah, and everybody else. Everybody. I, I remember this water cache. Oh, I know where I'm at. Chiching. So I took a break here last time. Straight remember it. Thank you, peeps. Oh, oh, for the crows. <laughs> nice murdered mouse. That's kind of weird. Wow. Oh, that was amazing. Nature with a buzz. Nature's already beautiful. Throw a little buzz in and everything else is a little prettier. I mean, in reality, this is just a jumble of broken rocks to most people. But those of us who know, we see its inner beauty. Especially with a buzz. So it's like 15 something miles to the next water. Well, actually it's one mile to the next water, then 14 miles after that is the water I'm headed for. I probably won't even be done with my second beer within a mile. Yeah. Excuse me. We have a lot of mesas to climb today. This is our future. Several mesas, plus since you climb down, you know, you gotta climb back up. There's a whole lot of that. It doesn't look like much from here, but I do remember it feeling pretty tedious when I was doing it. I'm like, I'm not at the top one yet. But this is a whole new hike. Everything has worked out so much differently. Positive and favorable the whole way. Except for minor instances, but we just ignore those. Don't dwell on the bad shit, man. in that dirt. There's even green dirt. Look at that. A stripe of green going through there. What causes a stripe of green? Or is that... No, it's not gray. There's gray next to it. Definitely its own hue. Hmm. 
Oh, this thing's hollow as all get out. What? Okay. Now I'm curious. What about you guys? Pa-ching. Boom. Oh, man. It does go pretty far back in there. Uh, that I can see. I'd give it a good 10 or 12 feet in there. Interesting. I'm so glad my flashlight works again. It's still... Got a lot of condensation in it, but I think I'm just gonna leave it running and let it get really hot and see if that knocks it out. Just the way the mud melts is amazing. They're just little baby hoodoos. I could punch you right off there. I could, I won't, but I could. Oh, look at that. How is that still balanced? I find this rock extra gorgeous. Look at it's got an ombre on it. I, I didn't know the word until my girlfriend taught me in fading from one color into the next. Digging all the red rock. This one's just especially beautiful to me. I think I'm gonna pack it out. It calls to me. You wanna come home with me, buddy? I'll give you the address. You gotta make it there yourself. Bridge? Really? How deep is this thing? Better be a man killer. I'm gonna be disappointed. Oh yeah, that's pretty deep. Okay, you know, good, good call for a bridge. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. What about you guys? Yeah, so that's the thing. That's how that cow fell in. Essentially, in the beginning, is it? You know, fell into a crevice that it didn't see. And, you know, I could see that, you know, you're walking along, everything looks flat, and that little crack just swallows you up. Night hiking is dangerous. Kind of, sort of. There is the water source signing off in the distance. So I was wrong, because I did finish my second beer before I got here. They're all rattling in my pockets. I don't like the noise they make. I'll get them in my garbage bag eventually, but it's in my backpack, so yeah, you know, I gotta stop first. And I'm like a mile in. <laughs> it's not big time yet, man. Unless I want it to be. I mean, if the trail had right by that water, I'd probably take a break just to, you know, get my hat wet or something. Splash a little water on my face. But I'm not willing to walk across this little canyon to get at it. Unless, of course, they make me walk across the little canyon, but I don't think that's going to happen. You just don't expect to find these things out here. They stand out. Just found a natural arch. 
Look at that. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be so small, did you? Yep, an arch. All sorts of cool nests in there, stuff under the rock. But there's something moving in Who are you? I figured that's just one dink poking out the top. And I'm just gonna film he's not moving. in my mind. Are you a baby crow? I sure am. Why not? You want to be my pet? Come down here to my arm. Come to me, bird. Not the best, huh? Whatever. You loved it. Oh, these are put together like that volcanic ash and hands. Look at that, it's so grainy. It's all the volcanic ash around here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's this stuff. Why make your house out of sticks when there's just mud everywhere? Why now they fashion them into those little balls that get them to stick? Do they chew it up first or something? I bet. Look, but do not touch. Look, try a field going on. Okay, right on the other side of this choy in front of me, the trail splits into three. There's this one that goes that way. There's one over here that goes to the right and up here, and there's the center one. Which one is me? This one is mostly cow prints that I can tell. This one's so thin, I'm assuming it's an animal track. I don't see shoe prints on this one either. I might be nowhere near the trail. Let's find out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not on the trail. And you know, when it's big rocks like this and stuff, you can't just make a straight line towards the trail. So yeah, I'm walking back. I think I'm supposed to be in the house on top of this stuff, not going around it. Okay, I wonder where I messed up. I'm gonna make an educated decision or guess. <laughs> yeah, it's coming for me, it's not an educated decision. Guess at best. To cut through this chore field, because it looks like I can get up on the rock right there, and I believe the trail should be right up there. It's not like this is a dense chore field, it's a highly intelligent chore field. Well, it wasn't that far off trail, especially for me. Because right when I come up the side of the hill, what's that? A little cairn. It's about the only place that you're happy to run into cairns. Oh, I'm not the only one coming from that direction. <laughs> yeah, with this many cairns, I should not have gone astray. But if anybody can go astray, that's me. And hell, I noticed it within 100 yards. That's not bad. That's great for me, as a matter of fact. And in just the time I got off, hikers passed me. I am pretty sure that is Sprite and Easy. Yeah, they were still camping when I left. They were the last people I talked to as I left. So me just going off trail that little bit put them that far ahead of me. It's 
where I was a few minutes ago. And now I'm up here. And it's a nice, warm, bright, sunshiny day. I'm thinking it's hike naked day. Uh huh. That's what it is. And I believe I found what I believe to be a panty liner. I've never seen one in the package, only in the panty. Uh, but that's what I'm going with. I don't know why the trail gave that to me all the way up here. But I'll carry it with me for a while. Maybe somebody will need it. Do you need this? That's creepy. Especially if I'm still naked. I am not buck naked. I'm still wearing a hat, a backpack, some gloves, some poles, some shoes, and a fanny pack. But I'm going to get me a little all over tan. The weather is nice. And I have never been allowed to hike on hike naked day. Because by that time it happens, you are generally in a cold place on the trail. It's like June 21st or something along those lines. Which sounds like a warm day. But it has never ever been a warm day for me on the trail. I've never actually hiked naked on hike naked day. I do it other days. I figure this is a good, desolate area. Can't hike naked here, where can you hike, yeah? That's a boy trout. Scout troop comes up over the edge. Now, I don't think you're gonna find like normal hikers out here. Maybe a few here and there, but. There's a desert, there's a long stretch of that water. I don't believe any roads, but maybe one or two. Hopefully there's not a cop crossing when I do. Well, there you go. I filmed one of those sitting down the camera and walking away from it. You know, I can't walk towards it just with the way I'm dressed. Even the panty pack. Yeah, it ain't covering none of my jingly bits. YouTube wouldn't allow me on. Not that I'm ashamed to show, but there's rules. We got rules we gotta follow. I might get busted for the corner of my butt cheek that's hanging out. I don't know. But I'm, I'm putting it on there anyway. Unashamed. <laughs> but there you go, you got that Darwin walking away shot. Some white ass walking away from the camera. Oh, we have made it to Cuba Ranch. Doesn't say no trespassing, and the footprints lead here, so it must be it. <laughs> uh, she knew my name. She's like, are you a night crawler? I thought you hiked in a skirt. And I was like, well, you know, when I'm not naked, I'm, I do wear a skirt. She's like, Ozzy, you're all just you're all just for 25 years. Nothing I haven't seen before. I'm like, do you want to bet? No, I didn't. I didn't. Well, we chatted a little bit. We pretended as though I wasn't actually naked. And she said, don't get sunburnt. But uh, with the sombrero, the pack, and all that, very little sunlight touches my skin. I really want it on my thighs because those things are milky white. You know, just a little color. But it's just a comfortable day for a naked hike, and man, there should be more of it, but yeah, it's considered weird. And when you look like Charles Manson, it's it's a little weirder, I can imagine. I mean, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. I remember Naked Guy on a Horse. Do you guys remember Naked Guy on the Horse? PCT? Yeah, everybody's freaked out by him. Damn it, there's another hiker. Whatever. Well, I'm a weirdo. Man, naked guy on a horse was really friendly, nice. He came over with his best weed, even wore a shirt when he came back. No pants. But you do you if you're comfortable naked. And it's legal. Go for it. And that's Noble Spirit. She's a rather nice lady. Does not care that I'm naked. She's like, I think it's awesome. 
I'm glad nobody's freaked out. Well, at least outward and verbally and stuff. They can go back to camp and be like, you know, I saw that weird ass guy in a skirt naked out there. But I, I, I don't care about that. I don't have some reputation to uphold or anything. This is people expect stuff of me. I can do the weirdest shit in the world. They'd be like, oh yeah, Nightcrawler, yeah. I, I could see him doing that. Realistically, I'm not going to freak any of them out anyway. They're all hikers. They belong to a hiker club. We know how clubs get yeah, a little weird, I imagine. Anyway, any club I've ever been in, but I probably make it weird. But I'm not going to shock any of them. So hopefully, just give them a story. Hopefully, they embellish a bit. <laughs> Let's see if we can find them in Hans. On the road there. Nope, I can't see them through there. But I'm guessing way up there at the curve of the road, right there, just after the curve, actually, there's two hikers. And I'm gonna guess it's spraying easy, which gives them a good half mile plus on me. Yeah, that's three quarters of a mile already. Huh. Everybody is faster than me. Literally everybody. Son of a bitch, where'd I put my poles at? I don't have poles. <laughs> uh, how long have I not had them? I'm hoping I just uh, laid them up against the tree. I was hiding in the shadow for a minute. But all of a sudden I went to spin a stick and I was like, oh. But, shit, they could be anywhere back there. Yep, I'm going to sit down the pack at this tree and go for a walk. Hi, right, Groovy. They were less than 100 yards back. <laughs> I couldn't remember the last time I had them in my hands. I mean, but it's so natural just to carry them all the time. Back on track. I'm just gonna walk on by, you don't mind me. Oh, you're adorable. Oh, rock repeater. What does that say? Twinkie? Twinkies? Not sure. Oh, I'll pass two more hikers. That's how you get a reputation. There's a handful of people that were freaked out when I was hiking naked on the PCT. Nobody said anything to me. But finally, <laughs> enough rumor was going around, I guess. And somebody was like, so, uh, are you freaking the people out? <laughs> I guess I was. That's an interesting rock. Well, unfortunately, my phone ran out of power. I've got a little bit of charge in my battery just from being on my back. 
but then that means my battery isn't charging in the sun. Inconvenient. But that was the price I paid for getting two whole movies out last night. I knew it'd kill my battery. But I figured worth the risk. I'm gonna do my best to get a little charge out of this battery and then throw it back in my back. Let it get some sun and hopefully I have enough to start the process again tomorrow. Whole problem is, is you know, a few days of rain. So I haven't really charged my battery in three days. I got a, char a little charge yesterday, but I did not fill it up. First world problems. And that's how they are so often when I see them, but when I get close, they run. Just chilling up there, looking all pretty. But when they see me coming, because he's looking right at me right now. Hey, buddy. You're so beautiful up there. Let's try to get a picture. It's been pretty sweet. Just been walking along the edges of these all day, just skirting around. Assume I'm doing the same with the next one. Very cool. I figure I haven't taken a break yet. This seems like a great spot to do it. He's just staring at me. He's like, what are you, man? A bunch of these guys are so quick when they get startled. I'm just walking by, don't mind me, buddy. He jumped up and turned around and faced me. He ain't taking no shit. Oh, I'm gonna get you, mister. Don't come at me. You're so cool. Every Karen has one living in it, it seems. Really cute lizards. You're not as cute, but I like your Spider Man thing you got going on. I heard so much gossip at that um, trail magic. You know, they're sitting there all day just hearing from hikers. So I heard a story about some dumb YouTuber girl who burned down like 10 acres of the woods because she doesn't know what she's doing. Plywood, that's unusual. Uh, I also learned that Portable G is a couple days ahead of me. And he was a cool cat that I hiked with for a good thousand miles or so of the PCT. I rather enjoyed his company. He's another kilt wearer. Cool dude, likes his safety meetings. We got that in common. He does get drunk and talk some smack. I thought he was gonna get his ass kicked the last time I did interfere and help him out. I don't know if he knows because he was drunk. But he was about to get beat down by somebody because the way he was talking. But he does talk a big game for, for a skinny little dude. We got that in common too. Uh, But I heard he's only a few days ahead of me. And as far as I remember, he's not a real fast hiker. I mean, we hiked together for a while, so either he was slowing down for me or that's his speed. I'm assuming that's his speed. You were very cooperative. You have a great day, buddy. Oh, I got some good ones of him. Come on, dude. I don't have time to film every single one of you. Stop being all cute and accessible. Look how yellow you are. Look at those legs. You guys just keep getting cuter. Never seen one that looked like this. 
Oh, plenty of room to get through. Nice. A lot of them lately have been too small for me. I've had to climb. When I climbed earlier, I tried to climb with two beers in my hand. That was not easy because one was open. Ooh, look at that crack. This one's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Scary, but no vertigo. Look at you all comfortable in your bowl. I'm not expecting anything, but I often say that right before I get pummeled. But it has made for gorgeous hiking, let me tell you. I put my clothes back on. Um, I have Honey Badger back there. She gave me a gummy. Nice. And Easy let me partake of his safety supplies, so I'm all good and happy. Mellow. Funny enough, I met Honey Badger back on the AT. We never hiked or anything. We just crossed paths. Because it's, you know, the small world of the trail and all that. Shut up in your face. Little raindrops are falling. We saw some lightning. Oh, well, I saw it and I was like, oh, wait. And I, I waited like three seconds and I'm like, now. Um, no, it didn't happen for another 12 seconds, the thunder. I was like, it's that far away? She hikes at my speed, so she's stuck with me for a while. She cannot escape. Oh. Good conversation so far, but most people are when you got them one on one. Oh, they built steps. Get some of those cute little mud guys. Nuts. Little mud guys on the edge. Pink, pink. Nice thick layer of what I believe to be lava. Squished lava. I can see how this would make a really nifty campsite. Lost carrots. Ooh, wind just got chill. Hello, gorgeous. It's a climb. Oh. Oh, but the sun has been hiding behind big clouds that every once in a while drop just a little bit of rain. No rainbow yet. But anytime water's falling from the sky and I see my shadow, I do a 360. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to this one. Bad angles in the mountain. 
Well, are you a threat? I'd rather not get wet at the end of the day, but you know, at least I'm a couple thousand feet lower than I was the other day. I will take that. Digging away the stuff cracks like a dry lake bed or something. Scales. All right, maybe two miles from the water or so. Not in a real big hurry. I have made it to Jones Canyon. I'm gonna spring back in here. Uh, so it took a minute. Those last two miles were a little hard. Both the uh, Sprite and I's feet hurt, so we were moving slow. So I distracted her with the gift of gab. But my feet were killing me all the time. So I'm pretty sure I have a blister on my left foot I just haven't attended to, or a severe hot spot. And there's not much camping in here, and I don't like to camp too close to water. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to see, man. I feel like I camped in here before, though. I feel like I camped around this corner. Hey, there's hippies over here. Oh, it's a beautiful canyon we grabbed the water out of. There's only one way in and one way out. So if you sleep anywhere in here, you know, all right. Yeah, that's about the only other way in and out, and some things obviously take it. But you're going to have an animal encounter you probably don't want to have. I feel like I slept in that corner last time, but I don't know if I want to do that this time. But that is a really good spot, isn't it? Everything can come by if it wants to. It doesn't need to fuck with me. There's just not... Everything looks like this. It's scrub. Uh, there's a few other hikers on the other side that have already taken spots. Hmm. I can see many other people have been here. There's footprints all over the place. I don't see any animals coming over here. Um... No, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm taking it. No, uh, my backpack's kind of beating me up. I got this bruise going on, and uh, ouch. I don't know. I don't normally bruise. It doesn't feel like a bruise, but it's very discolored. And not the kind that washes off, because sometimes I think I'm covered in bruises. Ugh. And then I just take a bath and everything changes, which is oh, what is in store today. You know, I'm probably this color everywhere once I wash. But yeah, I'm taking a bath in my cup tonight. Oh, we are doing a dinner of pulled pork, Mexican rice on some street tacos with some normal minute rice. Oh, yeah. It's only like 15 miles into town, man. So, you know, I can eat up. Oh, cruise in there and figure out my resupply and the resupply for the next place because I got to mail it to Ghost Ranch. Mm, but yeah, that's, that's for tomorrow to deal with. So let's see what time I wake up. Oh, I totally slept in today. So mm, my schedule's a little off, but we'll see how it goes, man. Fill my belly and crash out. <laughs>